Lance Corporal Martins Idak Beni has sued the Nigerian Army, the Chief of Army Staff and the Attorney General of the Federation over the arrest and detention of his wife, Victoria, claiming it was a breach of their fundamental human rights. In a video which went viral on the internet, Lance Corporal Idak Beni Berated the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukuburatai, and the Chief of Defense Staff, General Gabriel Olonisaki, and called on senior officers in the Army to resign for failing in the war against terrorism. The Lance Corporal is being represented by his lawyer, and the applicants are seeking an order to compel the respondents to release Mrs. Idakwani immediately. A lawyer who is the national president of Revolutionary Lawyers Forum, in a signed statement on Monday, described the continued detention as illegal. We're now joined uh, by senior advocate of Nigeria and human rights activist and lawyer, Mr. Femi Falano. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. We also have uh, joining us um, a security expert, Osagia Dixon. Thank you for joining us as well. Thank you, Francis, for having me. All right, let's start with you, Mr. Falano. We're getting revelations from the army, and some will be wondering um, where this is all leading. A soldier, Lance Corporal Martins, uh, is suing the Nigerian army um, for the arrest and detention of his wife, as well as uh, other um, issues. He's also claiming uh, there was a breach uh, of their human rights. With regards to the facts and circumstances of the prosecution of the counter-insurgency operations in the Northeast region cannot be justified. Uh, what should have been done by his officers uh, is to try and convince him of the commitment of the leadership of the Nigerian army to defeat the Boko Haram terrorist group. Uh, by detaining him without trial, the military authorities are simply popularizing his message, but was very bad, almost irresponsible. Uh, to have arrested his wife. Very, very illegal because by virtue of Section 7 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, the practice of arresting somebody in lieu of another has been abolished in Nigeria. So, uh, if the army has any problems with their own uh, member, that is the Lance Corporal Martins, in that way, if they believe he has committed an offense, he has to be taken to court. But as far as the law is concerned, and this was the point made abundantly clear by the Court of Appeal in the case of Corporal Yusuf and 22 others and Nigerian Army, where soldiers were taken to, um, were, 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 were enlisted, I mean, were taken to Liberia to take part in the war there. Uh, these soldiers got injured, they were taken to, brought to Nigeria, Nigeria could not take care of them, they were taken to Cairo for medical treatment. They were abandoned there. Their uh, allowances were not paid. And so they had a demonstration. At the Cairo airport, the day they were to be brought to Nigeria. So they were brought here and charged with all manners of offenses, including mutiny. But the Court of Appeal said, these soldiers are Nigerians. First of all, they have the fundamental rights like other Nigerians. So the fact that they are members of the armed forces, should not prevent them from complaining. And if they are also frustrated with the way and manner the war has been prosecuted, they also have the right to, to complain. I mean, I had the case where uh, 58 soldiers and another group of 12 were sentenced to death for asking for weapons to prosecute the war. Okay, so yeah. we didn't join the army to commit suicide. We joined the army to fight. And of course, they were sentenced to death. Of course, we pursued the matter. The sentences have been reduced to 10 years. All right. Just this morning, <laughs> we are going back to the court. We are going to court to have them released. Because there is no basis for some of the acts of harassment of young soldiers who are speaking true to power. Thank you. 
All right, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come to you in a bit, uh, Mr. Dixon, but let me stay with my, Mr. Falano um, with this question. Um, the court recently um, upheld um, uh, your, your uh, suit, your, uh, rather, ruled in your favor uh, that the army has no right to request for some uh, sort of identification uh, from citizens. Um, I mean, what is the implication of this ruling for the larger populace uh, of the country? Well, uh, last, if you recall, last uh, October, it was announced that with the first from the first week of December, all Nigerians were going to be required to identify themselves by producing your ID card as a national identity card, your driving license, your voters register card, and so on and so forth. And I, and I said, it's not the business of the army to harass civilians by subjecting them to any form of identification. And that was why we went to court. Rightly, the court granted an injunction. Interim injunction is training the army. But by last week, last week Wednesday, the court gave his final decision and held that under the Constitution, under Section 318 of the Constitution and relevant provisions, the Nigerian army, the Nigerian armed forces have no power whatsoever to subject civilians to any form of identification. That is the exclusive preserve of the police. But we are not running, we are not operating under a military dictatorship. And therefore, I urge Nigerians to reject any attempt by the army or by any group in the armed forces to harass civilians. If a, if a civilian has committed an offense, you must take him to court. court. All right, Mr. It's not, I mean, report him to the police. It's not the business of the army All right, to terrorize civilians. Um, um, let, let's get, bring in Mr. Dixon now. Um, what's your take on this matter of the Lance Corporal who is taking the army to court? What is the uh, usual procedure for looking into such matters that would have been a preferred option? Uh, thank you, Felicity, for having me. And uh, first of all, I, uh, as a soldier, as an ex-soldier, I want to use this medium to appreciate uh, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, uh, Mr. Femi Palano. Uh, with all honesty, uh, from all over the country, Nigerian soldiers are proud of him. Nigerian soldiers appreciate his fights for these innocent ones. Because I must tell you the truth, Felicity, if not for Femi Palano, most soldiers would have brought in jail. Most would have even been gone. So, Mr. Femi Palano, I salute you and I appreciate you. May God continue to give you the strength. And I'm happy to be yeah, with you here. Uh, Felicity, you first of all, First of all, uh, before, before I proceed, uh, 23 years ago when I joined the Nigerian Army, this is the soldier's creed. My honor is my faith. I mm. vow my faith in Nigeria, the supremacy of the Constitution, our heritage of liberty, to defend Nigeria everywhere, our territory, wealth, and people, the cradle of our freedom. Whenever the clarion calls, whatever price, whatever price, take that note, okay. or odds, my faith is one and ever to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This was the creed of the Nigerian army, of the soldier. This was the same creed I took when I was a soldier. Now, whoever took this creed or whoever took this creed has put his life on the line to serve this great nation. Whoever took this creed has put everything, has surrendered his life to serve this nation. And whoever surrendered his life to serve this nation must be respected, just like the senior advocate rightly said. The first point of call is that every human being by default has his own fundamental human rights. For the fact that you are a soldier, you are an officer, you are a police, or you are serving this great nation in whatever capacity, in whatever ministry, the first clear and call is that your right must be protected. All right, I, 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 I now, must interject uh, because of time. I must interject, uh, Mr. Dixon. Coming back to last compra, uh, I must interject now because of time so we can get uh, your still on you. Uh, looking back at the video, the Adeyemi's leaked video, and how he was subsequently uh, reposted, um, is it right to say that the system of complaint within the army is not transparent enough? If you can give us your response in 40 seconds, that would be appreciated. All right. Uh, I did miss a video, actually, for me, uh, is a senior officer. Uh, perhaps he has been making such kind of complaints in, uh, in, uh, by rights or by prints. Uh, but I think uh, that video got linked. And uh, it's, it's good the video got linked because uh, these are the same generals that are dying every day for this country. So for me, uh, his actions and uh, 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 reports is, 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 is in line with his duty because for the fact that he's serving Nigeria does not mean he's going to die like a chicken. So he mm. knew that the system is working against them. 
and he asked the soldiers or an officer to video his complaint so that it should be on record. So what he did was in line with, uh, uh, with the military's uh, uh, duty and report. But uh, why the military is angry is because uh, was because the video went uh, viral wow. and uh, the, the whole world. And the military don't like that, you know. They don't okay. like to be exposed. And if you are not exposed for the fact or the truth, you will not get things right. So we Thank must you, get man. the Nigerian army proper. Let them right. know the right thing to do, just as Femi Falano is rightly doing for this great nation. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Dixon. Um, in conclusion, uh, Mr. Falano, do you think that that um, video uh, will, you know, elicit the required action uh, response to the welfare of the army officers? Well, I, I can assure you, it's already doing that. We are pursuing the matter with uh, the one of our colleagues, Dr. Akiri, has gone to court. The matter is being pursued. Administratively, we have also reached out to the government to take the complaints of these soldiers very seriously. And as I did say, the 70 that are languishing in Kirikiri, we are also in court to okay. get them out, you know, because they committed no offense by asking for weapons to fight the war. All right, Mr. Falano, thank you as well so much for your time on the news and your thoughts as well. It's appreciated. Thank you very much. My pleasure. And of course, Mr. Dixon, thank you as always for your contribution. Thank you for listening.